Yeah, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Kinsa First Trader right here. I hope you guys are doing well. And in this video today, I'm going to be showing you, you know, uh, in my private classes, people always ask me this question, um, how to draw the uh, trend lines, how to draw support and resistance, how to picture uh, some patterns. You know, I discovered that most of my traders actually know how to you know they know these patterns they know the cup and handle they know the head and shoulder they know uh maybe double top double bottom they know almost all the patterns once you mention them they know it but they will find it difficult to find out or to identify when that pattern is forming or when it comes to trend line they find it difficult also draw trend lines some of them always complain of not knowing how to draw trend lines on boom and crash whether they should go and start uh maybe um checking at the week or the main body of the candlestick you know all this uh, these are the questions they keep asking how do we draw trend lines on boom and crash how do we picture those patterns when they are forming and also maybe pick also support and resistance point so in this video i'm going to simplify it i'm going to make it simpler to everybody whether you are a beginner or you have been trading your advanced trader in this video i'm going to make trend line uh, patterns and uh, support and resistance as simple as abc all right so now let me um go to four hours time frame okay if i want to draw a trend line on this this is an uptrend so if you want to you know picture or see an opportunity where you will enter a buy or so you can actually use trend line for this kind of trade right so you can actually go to a higher time frame like four hours time frame you can draw a trend line on a higher time frame you can draw it on your entry time frame maybe your favorite time frame or any time frame at all you can actually draw trend line there then let me just assume that we want to draw a trend line here on four hours time frame okay i noticed that sometimes one of the problem conf confusing aspect of it is that some people we want to you know they, they because some people are confused of drawing maybe from uh, are we going to be taking the weeks that is the shadow down there or are we going to be using the close of the or the opening of a candlestick now instead of you doing all these things maybe picking a line trying to capture both the close the week and trying to stretch it you know to get the trend line the, the right way or to draw it the right way trying to fix all these things I'm going to make it more simpler for you so all you need to do now is you have to come tap on your screen then go to the settings tab that is here on this tab settings okay when you go to the settings tab you will click on it then you can see here where the right line type okay you click on that line type now you have bar okay you have the bar you have candlesticks and you have line charts okay so we are going to be choosing line charts so once you choose choose the uh, line chart you go back to your chart you can see we just have a line so you are no longer seeing wicks or shadow you are no longer seeing any closing and opening of any candlestick we are just seeing a line so now it's more easier for us to picture some swing points swing lows and swing highs okay now what i need to do is just pick my line my trend line then drop it this way okay so if i'm drawing my trend line you can see it's more simpler using this okay using a straight line this way instead of looking out for my maybe uh trying to picture the week to avoid the week and all that i'll just use my line this way okay so if I want to draw a channel like uh, the ascending channel, I also pick a line, draw it up this way. This should be my ascending channel too. All right. So after doing this now, if I want to see the outcome, I can now switch to um, go to go back to the settings, go to chart, click to candlesticks. And then come back to my chart and you see how easy i was able to draw this 
you see how easy this this trend line is and or how it looks if i switch to my favorite time frame like 15 minutes time frame and i want to also draw a trend line here on 15 minutes time frame all i need to do is to zoom in a bit then pick change it to a line chart okay so let me just remove this that of uh four hours time frame so this is 15 minutes time frame i want to draw a trend line on 15 minutes time frame now so instead of me trying to see where to connect and all this i'll just go back and change this to a line chart so that i won't be confused then pick my line pick my trend line okay and place it maybe from here to this point to draw my line to draw my trend line guys so if i still want to draw the or the uh a channel here i can still do that so after drawing this this way i will now switch to my candlestick to see the outcome so you can see my candlestick how perfect this trend line looks on my candlestick so instead of using the candlestick trying to picture or figure out the swing points and all that you just change it to line okay now if you look at this point you might not know that a pattern is forming you might not actually see a pattern but if we should switch in if you should switch to line charts you might you will see that it's more easier for you to picture a pattern forming if you look closely a pattern is currently forming but let me just switch again to line charts and come back if you look we have a clear double top forming right now okay we have a clear double top forming so i can pick a horizontal line sorry but that is a mistake i'll pick a horizontal line to pick picture that uh, resistance level you can see i was able to draw this very as easy as abc at this point two points okay so you can see we are having a double top forming which is an m pattern we are looking out for a downtrend to, to complete the uh, previous M, uh, leg of the M pattern, okay? So, this is how easy using this line, uh, using a line chart to draw your support resistance trend line or picture a pattern, okay, on boom and crash, right? So, if I should switch to candlesticks again, you can see how perfect that horizontal line is, how it's aligned on, on, on that is top of that uh, candlestick here to picture our double uh, top, okay? So you can see how perfect this thing is. So you can literally do it on any chart at all. I just used boom and crash, which I know that is very difficult. People always talk about it, drawing uh, support and resistance or trend line on boom and crash. So that's why I decided to use boom and crash as an example. So let me just try check another, maybe let's say boom 500. Okay, this is boom 500. So you can see that the price have been ranging. I've been ranging. So for me to picture the support and resistance here, I can now change it back to my line charts, then come back and I can see, I can clearly see some swing points okay i can clearly see those points i can clearly see all these points okay so what i need to do is to pick my line and connect those points okay now you know if you have been following me i all i normally use a uh rectangle to picture my major uh support and resistance zone okay so you can see i have my major support sorry resistance above at this point serving as resistance here okay i have a major resistance above there then you can see if i now pick my line to do the sub this is also a point okay it's having as a uh, resistance here 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 also and you have it here again serving as resistance there so we can actually e easily pick lines and draw okay to pick our uh, support level and resistance level 
so this is how easy it is using this uh uh line chart to picture our support level and resistance level guys very easy as easy as a b c we can see those swing point you can easily see those swing point you can easily see this those swing but the last one i put you can see here is serving as uh, support right there here this line is serving as resistance and we scroll back you can see here is serving as uh, a support if you scroll back you are going to see how these lines uh, react uh okay so if i go now and change it back to my charts that is my candlesticks and come back you see where we are targeting our major support level uh, resistance level above and the minor support level you can see that the price is currently on a support level down here okay the price is currently here on the support level so we're expecting something to happen now either the price breaks or the price the, the support there holds the price from breaking and the price will reverse and start you know going up then all this support level here or all this support and resistance level here will be serving as our tp level okay you can have this as take profit one two three four or you can use fibonacci to do this all right so this is how to do this using a line chart okay using a line chart so we can equally um check maybe uh, another maybe uh, volatility let's say velocity 50 now you can see uh on velocity 50 let me scroll to four hours time frame we have a downtrend okay we have a downtrend so we can actually picture a resistance level the price is currently on a resistance level at this point this one is very easy to picture so some people will be trying to know whether to put it on at this week or at this point so that's why the line is so important if you are using the line now let me just go back and change it to line so if i scroll back again you now see clearly where those points are you are no longer seeing weeks and anything you are now seeing those swing points there all right so all i need to do is to carry my line to this point okay and put so this actually my resistance level all right so this this uh, line chart actually make it easy for you to picture those points okay and patterns you see those points and patterns it's very easy for you to picture so you might not be you, you don't need uh candlesticks pattern some uh um uh will i say uh some confusing candlesticks you know there's some formation of candlestick that you can't actually know you don't even know the the form how uh, whether it's a pattern a candlestick pattern or like when the market is choppy this this thing actually helps you to dictate that and dictates major patterns i love it when i'm if i'm trading double top i always use this pattern because it helps me get this double top stuff and double bottom as easy as abc so guys that is exactly what i want to show you on this uh video how to draw trend lines if you love what you just uh, watched please consider subscribing to my channel if you have not like this video and leave a comment and i will see you guys in my next video bye for now guys